there is a growing shortage of skilled workers in the building trades that's only getting worse. And Egan High School program has some students rethinking their career paths. About a dozen students are enrolled in a new construction trades program. It teaches them the basics of carpentry, plumbing, and wiring. As Bill Hudson shows us, they're actually building a tiny house on wheels. It has the sounds of a residential construction site. Saws buzzing. Pneumatic nailers hissing. Yeah, we're about to go put it back up and then... Antonio Stepan and his Egan High School classmates are learning a trade. It's one of those things where you get schooled in it, like uh, you go to your, get your education in it and you're going to have a job right away. So they couldn't have enough of them right now. They're building a tiny house, all framed, sided, wired and plumbed by high school students. Completely building it out of nothing and that's, uh, that's really cool to see all the progress we've made. The program aims to help solve a skilled labor shortage, which is only getting worse. When these kids graduate, and have, they have a path that they're ready for. Um, and hopefully, in doing projects like this, they're exposed to um, different areas and then it will spark an interest and they want to go become an electrician. Trade careers pay well and aren't burdened by huge college debt. It kind of shows that there's more options than just college and degrees like that. Emma Zelmer will go to college, but plans to own her own all-female construction company. I don't want to necessarily depend on men and being able to know these skills by myself, make sure that I don't need to necessarily call up somebody when I need to fix something at my own house. Learning to take pride in their work and staking out a solid future. Bill Hudson, WCCO, 4 News. Instructors saying the next five years, the construction trades will lose 50% of their skilled workers due to retirements. That's a lot. Yeah, that is. Yeah, smart kids.